Hey friends, welcome to my video diary of my trip to Laskiti Island. Uh, this is the intro and uh, from here uh, we'll just edit things together and hopefully I can pull this off. Uh, anyways, away we go. Hey Lo, how's it going? Awesome, girl. Excellent, we're off to Laskiti. That's right. Here's our ferry. It's Le Sunday, April 20th. It's about 2.20 in the afternoon. Our yeah. ferry leaves in 10 minutes. Excellent. It's uh, kind of windy. The guys, the guys on the dock, they're telling us, don't worry about the gravel, none of that stuff, no, easy he, ride. Actually, he said it was too late for the gravel. Too late for the He's gravel. <laughs> so this is our ferry. Yeah, here's the ferry, the Holly Burn. It looks like a fishing boat. Oh, it works right out loud there. You really know how That's to hurt a fish guy. boat. Here's the fish boat, Lo, if you're wondering. Freaking awesome boat that is. Just awesome. Throw it over. <laughs> so, so this is great, eh? Yeah. And apparently, this lady forgot her purse and is holding the whole thing up. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <really. laughs> this is Welcome to my movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I miss something? You missed the finger. Oh, come on, give me the finger again. <laughs> the one finger slope. Okay, let's get on. Okay, here's where I'm staying. This is Jessie's path and nursery. Uh, she's got a beautiful setup up here. And, uh, well, I'm not going to let you guys just tag along while I march up this hill. It is the hill from hell, but uh, is what it is. And uh, maybe when I stop to catch my breath halfway, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys up with where we are. Okay, there's where I came from. Huffy Puffy is uh, stopping for break. Thought I would show some of the uh, lushness around here. It is a really beautiful place. And there's the continuation of the hill from hell. And this, it's a good thing the hill, the path does not go that way. And it's a good thing. I think my cabin is likely sitting up on that hill though. Okay, so, but I'm a ways from there. Hey, everybody. Jesse brought me down here. I'm at, out on BC at Laskiti Island, and uh, Jesse brought me down and showed me her water turbine. I thought it was so friggin' cool that, uh, you know, maybe you guys want to see it. So, uh, here's, a, here's a clip of, uh, of what she's got going here. So, this is her water turbine. You know, Jesse said it cost her about 2000 bucks, but she has pretty much unlimited hydro at her house. Uh, to the point where she just leaves lights on. She doesn't worry about having to shut everything off all the time. Uh, she run, has freezers and fridges and just uh, runs so much stuff off of this incredible device. Uh, she said there's about a hundred of them on the island in use. Uh, and it's uh, quite strange. The fellow who invented this is coming out here this week and uh, might be doing a... Uh, a little seminar on them so uh, I'll definitely be checking that out so what happens here is this black hose runs all the way up this hill and you see it running way back up through there and that is just gravity fed water coming from a stream it's diverted down and it just runs into this guy and spins that wheel under there and in return that other line coming out this guy right here this guy comes up and runs right up to her inverter system and she plugs and runs everything out of that this is a, this is absolutely genius stuff I tell you these people are living out here quite comfortably and uh, they don't want an awful lot uh, anyways pretty neat thought you people might like to see it out the labyrinth this thing out is called the labyrinth Jessie was telling Lois and I that her she had a, a group of women came over for a weekend project and they put this together a uh, very special kind of spot uh, anyways so I'm gonna do some earthing and I'm gonna walk the labyrinth so grounding and or earthing on uh, the skeety comes with its own inherent risks apparently the island is just covered in sheep crap <laughs> they're everywhere out here and uh, and so people just have to fence they fence everything in that you don't want eaten by sheep uh, so, if anybody wants to join me for some lamb chops later, 
Might have some on the menu. Trail into the the bunkie. That's where Lowe stayed last night. It's basically just a uh, big enough for a bed in there. You can crawl in and out. It's very comfortable. Low said, a little chilly. And uh, come over to Glenny's place. This place is awesome. The little cabin in the woods. I'll try not to trip and kill myself. That will make a great video, I'm sure. So walk around here. She calls this the Ar Arbutus or Arbutus. I can never say that name right. It's the name of a tree. That's uh, that grows quite a bit out here. These trees here are Arbutus, Arbutus, Arbutus. Uh, sorry for the Don Cherry isms, but I can never say that right. Anyways, these trees are cool because they shed their bark when they get mature, and it looks like they're actually dying, but it's very awesome how freaking smooth that is. But they're not. This is what they naturally do is shed their bark. There's one losing his skin. And they're all over. They're real big too. Some of them get quite large. But anyways, here's the front of the cabin. It's absolutely what you call tucked in the woods. And I couldn't ask for anything better. There's my little deck. A couple of chairs. And uh, so I'm going to go in and Maybe have something to drink and call her a night. So here's what I was talking about. Why there's so much sheep poop everywhere. Let me right out my window. A little lambie. Mum, dad. Oh, pretty neat, eh? It's roaming wild. So here's a little outside tour. This is the outhouse. Uh, pretty pretty neat outhouse as far as outhouses go. It's about as neat as you can make an outhouse I'd say. But anyways, you go in here and uh, you have a sink with running water and uh, over here this is where you do your business and this here uh, stuff is, I didn't ask Jesse what it is, it looks like ground up bark mulch of some kind and uh, then when you're done your business, you just dump some of that in on top. Completely neutralizes the odor. does not smell in here whatsoever. And uh, then she actually uh, will compost what is in that bucket under there and, uh, and reuse it. So uh, the full cycle of everything gets used out here is a, a great concept. And uh, nothing much gets wasted. Check this out is the outdoor shower. And if you've seen me earlier, you know I haven't used it yet. But this, it's, uh, it's got this instant, uh, propane water heater. And, uh, it's pretty freaking awesome. I plan on using it tomorrow. We got some directions, that's good. Jesse showed me how to work it, but that was like yesterday and, well, it doesn't look too complicated. Turn the tank on and, uh, get wet works for me. Anyways, we'll go in to the Arbutus, 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 <laughs> and see my little shacky. The wood stove is kicking ass right now. I'd say it's probably 75, 80 in here. Then I got a little bedroom, mosquito net for the summertime. I guess you want to wing the windows open and just live with nature and all the mosquitoes can buzz around you while you sleep like a baby. That's a beautiful bed. It's very comfortable. And then the view out, and that's back uh, where I was standing earlier at the Arbutus Arbutus trees. Okay, good night, everybody.